Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a chit chat get ready with me using Fenty Beauty products. Most of the products I'm using today are from Fenty Beauty, but I am going to show you how I got this natural everyday makeup look. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. <laughs> to just wrap my braids up real quick so they're not in the way um, I'm just going to I guess talk through this a little bit I don't really know what I'm gonna say but I just want to come on camera and do some makeup so I can just feel some sort of normalcy this world as we know is like gone fucking crazy in the last week few days um, so I just need to do something to take my mind off of everything that's happening because honestly it's just really sad and sickening. Um, but we're not going to get into that in this video because we're just going to relax, do our makeup, and be peaceful. So um, I did already put my Visine eye drops in. I have really bad allergies. Excuse my nails. Sorry. Um, but I have really bad allergies and my eyes tend to get red like really red on the inside um, so the visine just helps with making my pupils look white so um, yeah that's what I did first so we're gonna use mainly mostly all Fenty Beauty products the concealer is Fenty the foundation is Fenty the primer the blush the bronzer so we're gonna Fenty it up today so I'm gonna start with the pro filter primer I just got the little baby size because I wanted to just try it before um, I bought the full size and I've had this mini size for a couple months now and I still have a lot left so I just like to really concentrate it on like the pores um, just so they're not visible when you put your makeup on um, so one thing I like to do, um, since I have very pigmented eyelids and under eyes, I like to conceal those first before I put on any foundation. Um, so I use the Lancome Camouflage Corrector, the yellow one. I've had this. It won't focus. I've had this forever too. This just cancels out like the purpleness under my eye. It's hereditary. I can't help it do anything about it the only thing I can do is cover it up so I'm just gonna take literally a little dab and start with that under my eyes and then I just have this bare minerals blush um, blurring buffer brush that I like to use to tap that in so I don't know what I'm going to talk about. I do um, have a couple of, well not a couple of because I don't watch much TV. Though I've been watching so much TV since we've been um, stuck in the house because of coronavirus. So um, I recently just finished both seasons in like a span of two days of um, Selling Sunset on Netflix. That show is like... I loved it. It was like drama in the realty world. Um, but yeah, it was a really, it was a really good show. I was surprised. Um, I saw someone that I follow on Instagram um, post about it and I was like, hmm, let me check it out. I love it. Tell me who, if you watch it, tell me who your favorite person on the show is. Contrary to popular belief, I like Christine. I know she's like the biggest bitch on the show, but I love Christine. I love her outfits, her hair. Like she just be, she's a fucking fly ass bitch. Um, she does have her moments where she's like, she needs to chill, but um, I don't know. I like her. Um, I can't wait to see her wedding in season three. I like really zoom through those episodes. They're only like 30 minutes each. I just really like to blend this in because it's really thick so yeah um yeah I can't wait to see her wedding in season three um because she's like really girly but she has like a gothic edge to her I really like that so for my lids I'd like to do the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion in caffeine 
it's kind of the one that's like tanned pigmented so I just put that on my eyelids and I'm just going to use my beauty blender to blend that in um, and last night I started the um, limited docu-series on Jeffrey Epstein and that shit is fucking crazy like I advise everybody to watch that because there's a lot of stuff that I mean I listened to a podcast about it not too long ago I'll try to link that down below her name's Samantha Brimer I think that's her name she does a YouTube channel and a podcast of um, true crime and she recently did an episode on Jeffrey Epstein and I did not know all that shit went down so um, this docuseries on Netflix is really bringing all of that to light and Oh, I can't believe it. So, I, I'm i not going to state my opinions on it because it might offend some people. But if you have Netflix like everybody else in the world, I recommend Selling Sunset and the Jeffrey Epstein docuseries. So, those are two good things that I've been watching. So, this is my first time actually using a Fenty Beauty Foundation. Um, I, the older one, I don't want to say the older one, but the first one she came out with... Um, I didn't get a chance to use that because when it first first released my shade was never in stock like ever in stock and I just gave up on it but she recently came out with the hydrating formula which I tend to have drier skin so I thought this would work for me so I got the shade 350 and it comes in this tube and what I love about it is the pop I don't think that this is a lot of product honestly I mean this can probably be gone. I'm not wearing makeup as often as I was before, but this could be gone in a short matter of time if you're like wearing it every day. Um, but nonetheless, I'm going to, oh, actually, let me just open my brush first. I recently got this Milani. It's a powder and bron bronzer brush, Ugh. a powder and bronzer brush, but, um, I know I've been watching Brianna, I think that's her name. Um, I'm sure you guys know who I'm talking about because she's really popular on YouTube. She uses this brush to put on her foundation and her foundation always looks bomb. So I thought I would try it out. This is really soft actually. Wow. So I thought I would try that out for my foundation. I usually use a beauty blender but um, I'm definitely going to use a beauty blender for my concealer, but I want to try it out for the foundation first. So I'm going to go ahead and pump. It's a new pump, so you got to pump it a million times. So I'm going to pump a few pumps just like that to start off with. So I like to just put a little bit on and we'll see how much we need after that step. So this is the coverage with just one like go around. I think that's I think that's pretty good but I'm gonna put on some more <laughs> so just another pump and I think we're done with that so just like another pump and I'm just gonna concentrate it in the areas where I like a little more coverage so and this brush is really nice it's nice and soft so I think this was a good call to get this. I had to order it on Ulta, um, on Ulta's website because I didn't see it in Target or um, CVS, and that's usually where you can find most Milani products. But the brushes, y'all, I know y'all have been in Target and like all the drugstores and shit. Like everything is sold out. Like people are doing the damn thing at home. Like the nail polish is sold out. I can't find nail polish remover anywhere q-tips cotton balls the press on nails i i'm always using press on nails even before this started like i like the kiss brand 
sold out everywhere. Like the good ones are sold out. Um, sold out of like basic necessities pretty much everywhere. So it's so hard to find like shit you need to do your makeup with. So I just had to bite the bullet and order online at Ulta. I'm just blending this in so it like blends into my hairline. Don't come from my edges because just don't come from my edges. I've had these braids in not that long it seems like and I mean I like the knotless look but if you have natural hair and new growth like it gets out of control in a matter of like weeks so they start to look old so I'm just still blending that in I like this foundation so far it does feel hydrating and even with two coats of it on I don't feel it on my face if that makes sense like it's really lightweight and like it blurred out pretty much all like my pigmentation and dark spots I haven't waxed my lips so I have like a lot of hair there and you can't see it with this foundation on I like to be nice and blended so I'm gonna keep on blending that in um, what else have I been watching? I've been watching like old shows like I went back to like Flavor Love. I watched that. I watched Charm School. I forgot how funny that shit was like I can't believe we were watching that in like middle school high school. The drama it was like I love New York. She she used to annoy me back then but she like made the show. I'm, I see why they brought her back for Flavor Love Season 2. Like, because before I was like, why they bring this bitch back? But they needed, they needed content, baby. So I'm using the Pro Filter Concealer. I have used this before. This is probably my third tube of this. I did get the wrong color, though. This is the shade 310. This is way lighter than the one I usually use. I forgot the number of the one I usually use. But we're going to try this out to see... How it looks so I don't do like the whole contour with concealer thing I just put it where I like to have it just a little there so I'm gonna blend that in with my beauty blender <music> did my eyebrows off camera because if I did them on camera I would mess them up horribly um, but I am just um, still blending in this concealer before I put the setting powder on I'd like the beauty blender the most for blending out concealer because um, it really like the point it really gets in like the creases and as you can see this is why I use like the Lancome, the Lancome camouflage. Oh my god, I can't talk. The Lancome camouflage concealer first, because it really covers up my darkness, and it makes the actual concealer go on like really smooth. So my eyebrows are done. So I just um, used the. This is my favorite. This is the Precisely My Brow by Benefit. I use the number four, the dark brown, so it comes with like the spoolie on one end. And I really like this because it's thin and you can easily do like hair strokes with that. So this is probably like my 15th one of this. And then I just outline it with the Morphe M432 brush, like the flat top and with the concealer. So I just go out and outline it because your girl hasn't got her eyebrows done in a long ass time so um just like the little stray hairs i camouflage with the concealer so we're gonna set our concealer with the sasha buttercup setting powder 
just kind of like a yellow banana powder but this one um, is really good and it's very pigmented so I tend to just use whatever is left in the cap so I put that on my damp beauty blender because it really goes on well damp so that much and then I just pat it in under my eyes I don't bake or do any of that um, that's just too much for me I can't so I just literally pat that in to get rid of all the creasing as you can see it kind of blurs it out and smooths the under eye area I hate when an eye booger gets in there um, so yeah I'm just gonna do that on the other side if you guys have any like show recommendations for me because I'm like literally out of stuff to watch I did just start Riverdale season 4 though they just put that on Netflix um, and I can't the tribute episode to Luke Perry um, he plays the character of um, Archie's father he died in real life so they kind of had to make him die on the show and the episode was just ooh, it was heart-wrenching like I cried I was watching it with my boyfriend and I was trying not to cry in front of him because he would have called me a buck. But it was so sad and I don't know if you watch Riverdale. Let me know if you like the way they did that because I love the way they did that. And they um, had Shannon Doherty on the episode. Ugh, I can't. It was, it was so emotional. Um, but I literally have all the streaming platforms. I have Hulu, Showtime, HBO, Netflix. Amazon Prime video I have it all so if you have any recommendations I can watch anything so um I don't like any like killing shows or like violent things um I'm not a Game of Thrones person I can't do it so I like romantic shows drama stuff like that you know so next what are we gonna do so next we're going to do our bronzer and I used this once before but this is the new um, cream bronzers by Fenty Beauty and I got number 50 Teddy, oops upside down, oh now it's upside down. <laughs> and this is really nice, um, it looks like this and I really like this. Um, I did get a sample of the cinnamon matchstick. I was using that as like a bronzer primer but it's a little too shimmery so I'm not going to use that today. I'm going to um, just put on the cream and then I like this um, Real Techniques brush. I like the ones with the gold stems so this, I don't know what it's called, it doesn't really have a name on here but it looks like this. This is really good for the cream products as you can see I used it already but I'm going to start with that. And again, I'm not like a heavy contour concealer person. I know everybody does their makeup that way these, day, <laughs> these days, but I don't do my makeup that way. I kind of like stick to the normal way. So I just like to put a little bronzer on my cheeks and like around my forehead and set it with like the powder. So we're gonna start, I'm just gonna dab, literally dab it into there and just start little by little. So as you can see that I start from like the edge of my hairline right here and just like go midway to my cheeks. I did get like a tiny little bit half a syringe of filler last winter or last fall like this past fall 2019 I did get a little bit of filler on my cheeks to like make the contour pop um, it's kind of wearing off so it doesn't really make a difference but I feel like this enhances it so that's a really really nice color for my skin tone and if you have a similar skin tone I would recommend getting number 50 Teddy so I'm just gonna blend that And these are really lightweight and smooth like it goes on so smooth so I'm gonna do the other side just like a little tap and 
nothing too heavy because I'm like a natural face kind of bitch so I don't know what else to talk about um I kind of want to stray away from like the police brutality talk and all that because like I said earlier this is just an escape and trying to spend like an hour just not thinking about that right now it's really crazy um what's today's date today is the 29th and this morning it was just too much the news was just out of control Donald Trump oh he just tweeted some wild ass shit I can't so I think we're gonna be done with the cream portion of this so this is how that looks oh I'm just gonna frame my forehead with it I don't really know what this does but it looks good <laughs> I don't think I really have a big forehead but I like the way it looks with like the, the bronziness is on like the outer parts of your face so now that that's done I'm going to set it with the powder bronzer and I just got like a little sample I don't have a full size this is caramel beauty in powder bronzer version so this is what it looks like it's just like a nice caramel color so I'm gonna set that with the morphe m523 brush and I really like this brush for powder powder bronzer you can see that so I'm just gonna take a little dab of that and set I wish I had somewhere to go because every time I don't have anywhere to go, that's when my makeup turns out the best. <laughs> I bet you if I was going somewhere, I would look a hot ass mess. So that's the bronzer. Um, so next we're going to do our blush. I have um, two of the new Fenty cream blushes. One is in Rose Latte. And this is what it looks like. It's like a dark, it's kind of more like a fall color, like a dark, dark rosy color. And then I have this one that's more like for summer. It's called Petal Poppin. And this is what it looks like. I uh, mentioned these in my recent favorites video. I'll link that down below. And I was wearing this blush in that video. Um, I kind of want to use this because it's like spring summertime, but also I want to try this one since I haven't used it yet. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to use this one. And for this, I'm just going to use my fingers. That's how I applied it last time and it went on really well. So I'm just going to take like my two fingers here and smile and just dab that. With cream, blushes are so pigmented, you want to start off really light because you can always build it up it's really pretty it's like a cute little stain um i mean this is nice for summer too and i like to take the middle finger to blend it out to blend out like the finger marks Yeah, that's really pretty. It's like nice and subtle. I can't wait to get my nails done. And I think my nail salon opens up on June 17th, I want to say. Because I was able to go on their website and make an appointment um, for the 20th. And hopefully that appointment stands because... I need a pedicure and a manicure so bad. I know that's like the least of America's worries, but 
I haven't got a Manny and Petty since Valentine's Day and that was so long ago I can't and it's getting really rough out here I've been doing my pedicures on my own weekly and my toes don't look like tore up but I need the cuticles and shit done I can't do that myself last time I tried to do my cuticles look guys <laughs> I like fucked my finger up I don't know if you can see it but I have like a cut like in the corner here on this nail and it hurts so bad that's why I haven't painted my nails <laughs> hot as mess so I can't wait um my hairstylist is doing hair right now that's how I got these braids done she's only doing like one client at a time so there's only like max two people in the salon at a time um and you have to wear your mask the whole time and I think that's a really good idea I mean she needs to make her money too I do have another appointment at the end of June to get more braids because I think I'm just going to braid it out for the rest of the year because there's no point of getting a wig weave done because I mean I'm not really going anywhere um, so I think protective styles for the rest of the year is the way to go. Um, so yeah, that's the cream blush. I think that looks really good. Um, so yeah, I think next I'm going to use, I don't really like um, highlighter like that, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to use the Kilowatt Foil um this is like a highlighter duo, freestyle highlighter duo. This is the one in San Caso in Mint Mojito. So this one's like a blue kind of shimmery one and this one's like a neutral sandy type of highlighter. And that's the one that I like and use the most as you can see. So I'm going to use that one today as a highlighter. And I like this brush. This is the Morphe M581. It's just like a fluffy, fluffy duffy brush. And I like fluffy brushes for highlight because I don't really like that really snatched highlighter look. I just like to dust it on. So this is really good for that. So just like a quick dusting up here. Nothing too crazy because I don't want to look like a glitter ball. I think that's so it's not my style <laughs> um, but I don't know if you guys know that or know this but I live in the DMV area which is um, DC Maryland Virginia I live in Maryland but if you're not from here it's kind of weird because you don't really know DC Maryland Virginia are like sisters and brothers because they're so close to each other you can literally cross the bridge from where I am in like 20 minutes and be in Virginia and back on the other end you can be in DC in like 25 minutes so we're all um intertwined but it's weird because all three DC is not a state but all three places have different like quarantine rules so it's really confusing here um like Virginia they just now made it mandatory for people to wear masks and establishments meanwhile in Maryland and DC it's mandatory to wear masks wherever you go um, in DC today is the 29th they lifted their stay-at-home orders um, today so people are allowed to dine outside in restaurants and do some other shit but I don't know because I know I'm staying home regardless I don't care I think Maryland lifted the stay-at-home order last last weekend but only <laughs> every other county except for PG and Montgomery County and I live in PG County so our stay at home order still stands while the rest of Maryland is weird so people were in Ocean City last weekend for Memorial Day getting it getting it in and I was like I can't so regardless of the stay at home orders or whatever's going on I'm gonna do what I've been doing going to work coming home getting my hair done like every other month <laughs> so this is the Morphe M213 brush. Um, it's just like a little domed brush. I'm going to take that same highlighter and just highlight in like little areas. So down my nose. Um, so yeah, if you live here, you know the stay at home order is just all over the damn place. I can't even keep up. I do think Larry Hogan, he's our governor. He is doing a good job with this. 
um, but lately it's just been getting so confusing that it's just easier to stay at home <laughs> until they know what's going on. They don't even have a cure or like a vaccine for it, so I still don't think it's safe to go out, honestly. Like, I don't need to go, as much as I miss brunch and like hanging out with friends, I don't need to go to brunch that bad. Like not worth my life and I do um, have immune compromised family members that I'm around on a daily basis so that's just not safe for me I haven't even been seeing my boyfriend that often like I think since March I've probably seen him like twice and it's like June next week. So I've seen him twice in a span of like two to three months. So that's a huge sacrifice. He has asthma, so, you know, I don't, and I'm still going to work, so I don't want to like compromise his health. So, you know, people like me who are trying to do the right thing, that's a lot. Ooh. People like me who are trying to do the right thing, it's kind of a slap in the face when you see people just out at, on the Ocean City boardwalk with no mask, no nothing, and then they come back to whatever county they live in and they can potentially spread the virus. You know, it's just like a slap in the face because it's like, what are we, what are we really doing? I know everybody has their opinions on like, let's just put it this way. The people who think we should still stay at home are getting mad at the people who think we should be out and about and vice versa so I don't think we as a country are ever going to come to an agreement with that but I say do what you think is right and just try your best to keep yourself safe you know because you gotta look out for number one at this point because obviously not everybody cares about their health so that's all I'm gonna say on that topic so now we are going to go into I don't have any like eyeliner or anything because we're not doing all that today let me see what time it is so this is the Fenty Beauty full frontal mascara and it's called cuz I'm black it's the perfect name for this I kind of really don't like this mascara cuz I'm not a fan of like chunky brushes like this because it's hard to like really get your eyebrows and not your eyebrows, your eyelashes, and it kind of gets messy, so um, I don't think I would be repurchasing this, but it is a good everyday mascara, so I'm just going to carefully put this on so I don't get any, like, mascara on my eyelid, and I have been using Latisse, so my lashes have been popping lately. I'm not about to put on no false lashes or anything, that is way too much work for me. Okay, so the mascara is on. I zoomed in a little bit because I'm going to do my lips next. Um, these are not all Fenty lip products, but I'm going to use the Gloss Balm and Fussy on top of the Kim Kardashian. This is the KKW Beauty Nude 4. I really love this lipstick, it's my favorite. And then the MAC Whirl Lip Liner. So I'm going to put this on and I'll see you for like the finished look. Um, add a little color to my eyelids and go back in with the Caramel Cutie Bronzer. And I'm going to use this Sigma E40 brush just like a blending brush and I'm going to just sweep that over my eyelids real quick just to like give it a more contour look I'm not good at eyeshadow like I suck so bad at eyeshadow I don't know how people do all those bomb ass eyeshadow looks I can't do it maybe I can or I'm just not trying hard enough but I'm not really an eyeshadow type of girl like this is the most I'll do this pop a little bronzer in the crease just to like give it some 
pizzazz, you know. Because my eyelids are already pigmented, so I don't need to do much to my eyelids. So, yeah, this is just what we're going to do. <laughs> look of um, me just doing my face primarily with Fenty Beauty products and I just want to say that I loved everything that I used from Fenty Beauty today. Um, the foundation, the concealer, the cream, bronzer, and blush are my favorite. I want to get more of them. I want to get like every color of the blush because it just blends in so seamlessly. The concealer shade actually worked out, the 310 shade. And the mascara actually is acting right today so and I have the gloss balm on my lips along with um, the KKW Beauty lipstick but yeah the nice subtle highlight this is just like an everyday like simple makeup look nothing too crazy this is something I would do to go to work or you know just casual day so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you in my next one. I'll link all the products that I use down below. Um, I'll link my Instagram, my Poshmark closet, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. See you in my next one.